This is the world's most miserable place to live. It's a place so suffocatingly dark that the ability to see becomes useless. A place where finding another living soul feels impossible. And if you do find someone else, it's likely not someone you want to meet. Welcome to the Deep Sea, a realm so haunting that it feels like another dimension. Yet it's right here on our very Earth. Down here, with crushing pressure and temperatures below freezing, life has yet again still found a way to survive in these not-so-loving conditions. Some of these deep-sea critters are fish with a peculiar feature, or rather, the lack of one, their eyes. Some fish have eyes that don't work, while others have no eyes at all. Instead, they sport smooth, empty sockets or skin-covered stubs, like this little guy. At first glance, you might think Mother Nature clocked out early in these designs. How could these fish survive without the most important sense of all, our ability to see? Unless these fish have hidden guide dogs, it seems to break the rule of survival of the fittest. Yet, somehow, even with impaired vision or no vision at all, these seemingly impaired fish are in fact the very creatures that thrive in the most unforgiving environment on Earth. But in the deep sea, survival isn't just about maxing out your stats, but how you can adapt. Survival in the ocean is no small feat, especially when it's always pitch black. Down here, where danger lurks in every shadow and light is a rare luxury, the struggle for survival pushes creatures to their limits. Some fish go all out, going as far as producing their own light to communicate, hunt or evade predators through a process known as bioluminescence. But then some take a whole different approach. Instead of relying on sight, they've given up their eyes altogether in exchange for other heightened senses. What remains of their sight are vestigial eyes, haunting remnants of what once was, hinting at their ancestors' brighter, sunlit past. Vestigial eyes are a living example of how evolution shapes the world and its creatures. Vestigial structures are features that were once fully functioning and developed in ancestral species, but now they serve little to no purpose for the current organism. These are the evolutionary leftovers, traits that were once crucial for survival but are now just biological relics. It's hard for us to imagine a world where we'd never need our sense of vision. But for these fish that live in total darkness, sight no longer provides an advantage for finding food or evading predators. Eyes are complex, energy-consuming organs, requiring a network of nerves, blood vessels and light-sensitive cells. In a lightless environment where meals are scarce, maintaining these structures is biologically expensive and offers little return on investment. Over time, fish that conserved energy by redirecting resources away from their eyes gained a survival advantage, allowing them to focus on developing more valuable traits such as enhanced senses of touch, smell, taste or even electroreception. But vestigial features aren't just seen in fish with no need for sight. Many species, such as snakes and whales, still carry pelvic bones, remnants of their land-dwelling ancestors. Similarly, flightless birds like ostriches still possess wings, which are relics of their airborne ancestors. Even humans have their share of evolutionary leftovers, like the appendix, the shallow-ended tube that's attached to our large intestine that doesn't directly take part in digestion. Research suggests that it served as a shelter for the gut flora or played a part in the lymphatic and immune systems, although its exact role still remains a mystery. Other vestigial structures in humans include our tailbone, wisdom teeth and the tiny muscles behind our ears that some animals like cats, dogs and horses use to rotate, called the auricular muscles. Because vestigial structures are similar to fully functioning versions, they help us understand common ancestry and can help biologists trace the evolutionary origin of species. In fact, some deep-sea fish once had excellent eyesight during their larval stage while in the ocean's shallower depths. As they matured and descended into darker, deeper waters, their eyesight gradually disappeared. Some fish, like sharks, have highly sensitive systems that can smell blood in the water from miles away. Fish like the blind cave fish, abyssal cusk eel and most bony fish mainly use a system of sensory organs running along the sides of their bodies called the lateral line system. This specialized sensory system detects vibrations and movements in the water, guiding them to food and helping them avoid predators. The Mexican tetra, Astyanax mexicanus, exists in two similar yet distinct variants, those with eyes and those without. 
The eyed variety of the same species have silver-gray bodies and live in fast-moving rivers, relying on their vision to navigate and hunt for food. But researchers discovered that this eyeless variant actually enjoys spending time with its eyed counterpart in shallower waters. Both variants can interbreed and even visit each other. Despite the relative food shortage, the surface tetra may see the dark habitat as safer and more peaceful. And for the ones that can't see, the blind cavefish inhabit the starkly contrasting environment of dark, slow-moving waters in caves where food is scarce. These tough little guys survive on whatever fits in their mouths, from worms, snails, other small fish, insects, algae, and even plants, when their choice meals aren't available. Quite remarkably, these blind fish are much more intelligent than your run-of-the-mill fish, as they've been observed to remember where objects are to stop themselves from repeatedly bumping into things, busting the myth of fish having bad memories. Also, these fish have specialized glands in their heads that allow them to detect light through their transparent albino skin. While they are susceptible to light, this adaptation helps them avoid danger. When exposed to light, they instinctively retreat to the safety of darkness, where they are advantaged. But these are not the only creatures to thrive in these dark conditions. Enter the blind swamp eel, another interesting species that has embraced life in lightless, murky waters. The blind swamp eel, a Festeranon infernali, is a species of fish found in Mexico, living in freshwater sinkholes and limestones. These critters challenge our idea of what it means to be a fish. With their elongated worm-like bodies with no pigments, scales, or visible eyes. Because how would anyone seeing this for the first time think it's a fish? But classifying if they're fish or not isn't the only headache they've given biologists. They also made sure that they added the mystery of how they shuffle through life on land and in water to the list of things that keep them up at night. The blind swamp eel can live in dual habitats, thanks to their bright red-colored bodies. Typically, fish draw oxygen from water by filtering it through their gills. However, the swamp eel has vestigial gills, so they rather obtain oxygen through their mouths via specialized tissue weaved with a dense network of blood vessels, which explains their bright red bodies. Like other blind fish, they rely on their lateral lines to feel their surroundings, identifying food and avoiding obstacles and threats as they slither through the shallow waters. Blind swamp eel fish also extract oxygen while on land through skin breathing, meaning they absorb oxygen directly through their skin, all thanks to their blood vessel-rich epidermis. While the blind eel does have eyes, you won't be able to see them as a fold of skin covers them. Finding the blind swamp eel is no easy feat either, partly because of their reducing population and partly because of the terrains they call home. These elusive creatures make their homes in the deep, dark caves of remote terrains, buried in mud or hidden beneath rocks. But when you find them, you won't see one blind fish species, but two, because they coexist with the Mexican blind Bertula, another fish that gives Mother Nature the middle finger. The Mexican blind Bertula, Typhaliacina per se, is a species of the viviparous Bertula only found in Mexico, measuring about 3.8 inches. With one glance at its face, you can tell they have no eyes. But their most striking features are their laterally compressed and scaleless heads. They have nostrils atop their upper lip and mouths that have longitudinal splits at the back. Like it's no need for eyes counterparts, the blind Bertula has translucent skin that appears pinkish white. It uses this lateral line system along its body to navigate its environment. However, unlike the blind swamp fish, its skin isn't sensitive to light. Instead, it relies solely on its lateral lines to detect vibrations and water pressure. Although their skin can't detect light, it offers them something even more remarkable. Their skin is layered with taste buds, which help them detect food even if it isn't directly in front of their mouths. As the apex predators of their ecosystem, they feed on crustaceans like shrimp and mycids and have no natural threats. Further down the ocean, adapts with conditions unconducive for any life form, lives the abyssal cusk eel. And despite its name, the abyssal cusk eel is not even technically an eel, belonging to the order of Fidiiforms instead of Anguliforms, which are the true eels. It's the deepest living fish known, with one specimen spotted at a depth of 27,460 feet in the Puerto Rico Trench in 1970. They live in the abyssal and hadal zones of the sea, and to survive the immense pressure and near-freezing temperature, they have specialized body structures and adapted remarkable strategies to feed, mate, 
and evade predators in their pitch black habitat. They move with a sinuous seal-like motion, allowing them to glide through the water. Abyssal cusk eels have soft bodies, tapering tails, and loose, transparent skin. They have tiny, deep-set eyes believed to be placeholders in case evolution remembers and gives them proper eyesight again. But instead of their eyes, they use their lateral lines to sense obstacles and chart their way in the darkness. As scavengers and opportunistic predators without sight, they rely on their highly developed olfactory and taste systems to locate food. They feed on marine snow and small invertebrates like worms and crustaceans. When it comes to evading predators, they combine stealth with speed. Usually, these fish use their translucent body to blend into the murky surroundings of the ocean, making them hard to spot. And when their cover gets blown, they can make sudden, darting movements to escape. Thanks to their flexible, agile body, the cusk eel, like so many creatures of the deep, reminds us of nature's incredible resilience. What might seem like a disadvantage, like lack of vision, becomes a strength, as they transform challenges into tools for survival. Perhaps our disadvantages aren't what always matter. What truly defines us is how we use our strengths to become the best in what we are good at. These deep-sea fish may not be able to pass an eye chart exam, but in their own environment, they are one of the few that were able to adapt and succeed. If you enjoyed, show some support in the comments. This is our second video, so all support is appreciated. I read every single comment you guys say, so leave some feedback. See you in the next one.